It's okay to be a homebody when the weather turns colder. While others may try to get you to leave your home and be a social butterfly, I'm here to tell you that you need to listen to your instincts and just slow down. Just like this cat. Or like me, the box turtle. Sure, in the summer, I'm more active, especially early in the morning or after it rains. And during the spring and fall, just like you, I'm active throughout the day and enjoy being in the sun to get warm. But living in a region that gets very cold, I find a comfortable place where I can be somewhat insulated, called a hiberniculum. I don't actually hibernate like warm-blooded critters do, but I become lethargic and enter a state known as brumation. This begins in October or November, kind of like when you snuggle up under a warm blanket. By April, I will emerge again. Throughout my life, I rarely travel more than one and a half miles from home. My homing instinct is something I'm born with. Don't tell me I should just push myself out of my comfort zone. It isn't happening. I make a mental map of my home territory and know exactly where to find food throughout the year. Think of it as a built-in Google map with all the restaurants marked. In my case, I like to remember where I can find a variety of plants, mushrooms, fruits, insects, fish, small amphibians, eggs, and even dead animals. So as long as you know where your food is located, sticking close to home is fine. When you want some solitude, you can go inside and close your door. I'm fortunate to have a flexible hinge on the bottom of my shell, officially called a plastron. When threatened, I can pull my body into my shell, close the plastron by pulling the hinge section closely against my carapace, and wait for danger to pass. Apparently humans have things that are similar called a box. So that's where we get our official name. I've had friends who had damage to their shell and magically it was able to regenerate. Even though this guy lost a leg, he's doing fine now. Actually, granular tissue slowly forms and keratin slowly grows underneath the damaged area to replace damage and missing scoots. Those are the things that make up my shell. Over time, the damaged area falls off, revealing the new keratin formed beneath it. It's kind of like when humans take time to relax and rejuvenate. Unfortunately, there are times that our shells don't protect us. As we're crossing the road, sometimes we're run over by vehicles. Another reason to stay home. But sometimes roads cross through our home range. But there are many humans who safely move us off the road, so this doesn't happen. We're very happy when those humans place us on the side where we were heading. There's nothing more frustrating than to have to turn around and walk across the same road again when they put us in the direction we just came from. So the next time someone tries to get you to leave the house on a cold winter day, tell them you're too busy being a box turtle. We can live as long as a hundred years, so our way of doing things has its benefits. Share this video with them if they don't understand. See you in the spring.